the case of the missing RC. So as you can see, uh, you can find the RC here. The patient uh, underwent angiography elsewhere and they showed a normal coronary artery, maybe 50% blockage here, but we suspected uh, because of the dominance of the LCX the left system being non-dominant so the we suspected that the RC would be dominant hence uh, we estimated that the RC should be opening somewhere here where I'm pointing the cursor uh, the patient had uh, continuous chest pain and uh, since the past uh, four or five days and he was a chronic tobacco chewer hence all the more reason to suspect we did another angiogram to see whether there was any stump or not that was present uh, however the stump uh, that we suspected was blunt let me just pause the video and show you where we were suspecting the stump so the stump would be somewhere here but it is a blunt stump and the side branch uh, is quite large at the adjacent side branch so anyways we started uh, the wiring this is a JR315 French catheter this is the whisper wire we took a whisper ES extra support wire uh, it has a blunt uh, the whisper ES uh, wire has a blunt a tip it does not have a taper tip like a fielder xt wires it's got uh, somewhat moderate strength or the tip weight and we're opening uh, we're going slowly slowly and drilling and you can see that a faint outline can be shown here so uh, after we've already crossed the lesion here so we know that we're in the right track again uh, we've crossed and uh, as you can see that we are in the right track so knowledge uh, or estimation is very important uh, you can see so you can see this is a 1.5 mm balloon whenever you're doing a large 100% uh, uh, case try to take a small balloon because if you're not in the artery and you take a large balloon large diameter balloon and uh, you inflate it then uh, there might be problems you can land up in uh, a huge pericardial uh, uh, temperament very quickly so uh, we can see that the border started to become evident uh, we're only dotting here at this point once uh, we estimated that we are in the correct artery as you can see this large huge organized thrombus burden even though the pa patient was on clexin after he uh, came to us but sometimes uh, clexin and platelets uh, antiplatelets are not enough and you get a very uh, huge organized thrombus burden and it's very hard so we're inflating a 2 by 10 mm balloon here after we confirmed our position now again confirmation of the position is very important for young cardiologists also let me uh, uh, point out that we've already exchanged the whisper ES wire with a BMW uh, wire it's always prudent that once you've estimated uh, or you cross the lesion and you confirm that you're in the right position just extend the wire for a work pause one pre-dilatating some more and now you can see there's a lot of organized thrombus right about here huge huge thrombus burden that you can see so in such a large thrombus burden there are two technical challenges first that a thrombus aspiration uh, does not usually work in an organized thrombus like this secondary there's a lot of risk for uh, distal embolization and uh, you know getting
getting inadequate results so what do you do stick it and uh, put the patient on uh, clexane put the patient on uh, what do you say uh, antiplatelets tarifiban whatever and you know just stick it to the wall put a stent across it that's the best strategy So there's a long stand that we have to take, and always uh, measure your stent length in at least two or three orthogonal views. There's the LAO call view right here. Wonderful stent placement in my opinion, and the stent is inflated. Go to the nominal, check again, and go nominal again. And show that the stent has been well expanded, as you can see here, very well expanded stent. Well, some post dilatation is in order here. Post dilatation, some more. Yes, good amount of post dilatation is very necessary for adequate stent expansion. So we'll get some more, some more, some more, and some more. Checking, checking again. Some more of post dilatation being done. Okay, wonderful, good results. You can see wonderful, wonderful results. Well, the patient uh, was pain free at this point of time, and uh, you can see that we we are able to achieve wonderful results. Thank you.